It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? What's up guys, this is Charles with Hero War Central and this is gonna be a video about free to play teams to level up for mobile. Now, if this is your first time catching one of my videos, uh, please consider subscribing. I do uh, Hero Wars content. I mostly do the Facebook version, but occasionally I will do the mobile version as well. Um, please uh, please consider giving a like or a dislike, and of course, any comment that you leave will be appreciated. I'd, I'll, uh, I'll try to answer it as best I can. Um, now, this video, um, I, I started a brand new account and I'm just kind of running through the first handful of levels. Uh, I know I'm going a little fast. I, I, uh, I just finished the first campaign mission, Unlocked Astaroth. So now I have Galahad, um, the warrior slash tank, and I just unlocked um, Astaroth here, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up parts of this. Um, now that I've kind of introdu introduced it, I'm going to speed up parts of this because a lot of it's just kind of busy work um, for the first... I don't know, 15 minutes of, of play. But basically what you do is you do these first handful of missions and you unlock a uh, you unlock a couple heroes as you go. So I'm going to finish this mission real quick and then I'm going to cut to the next, um, the next little bit. So after two or three missions, the game prompts you to come and open up a chest here. Um, and on, on, uh, on mobile... The first chest hero that you get is always Thea. She's a great healer. She's not the best healer, but she's uh, she's a very handy late game. Well, battery's dead. And so now you run through a little bit of dialogue with Thea. Um, the game sends you back to the campaign, and you fight your first um, hero-based mission um, in the campaign. And this one, as you as you saw, it had a. Um, had a, a, a portrait of Aurora above it. Of course, if you don't, you know, if you're not familiar with all the heroes, Aurora is another tank in the game. And I, I um, while this is playing, I kind of want to make a statement about Hero Wars in general. So starting off, the game is very easy. It's designed to be very easy. As a, you know, I activate my um, my healing and my uh, my shield here with my Astro off my tank. Um, however, Thea is the only hero healer that you get for a very long time that's um, decent at all. And here you go, see I'm, I'm battling Aurora. So one of the biggest complaints that I have about this game, about the design of this game, and now you have a little mini quest here where you, you have to collect uh, three keys to unlock her and, and, and free Aurora. But there's not a lot of healers in this game early on, unless you get lucky. And I have a fix for that uh, you know, here, here in a bit. But now you can see you got three missions that you have to complete in order to get the keys to, to unlock her. Sorry, I'm kind of kind of going a little fast, but it's it's pretty straightforward. But but again, there aren't many healers in this game, um, at least early on. Sure, there are a ton of damage dealers. You got Galahad here. You're going to have options to get Kira and Ginger and you know Mojo and Dante and Daredevil, all these other damage dealing heroes, a couple of tanks um, in Astaroth and, uh, and Galahad early on, but there's not a lot of healers. And this kind of makes me nuts because... Thea is good, but she's not um, she's not great at keeping your team alive um, until you know until you've had a chance to level up Astaroth's um, tanking abilities or Galahad's tanking abilities or you know Aurora's tanking abilities. She's she needs another healer with her, which is which is fine. You know sometimes you need another support, but uh, I'm just not. I just wish that they had done a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and split the video here again and jump to the next part. So I, I wanted to jump back in here. Um, the mission right before the last key mission, um, there's, a, there's another mission that triggers another event in the game, in the, in the start of the game, I should say. So um, you're about to get this hero that is, um, he's pretty handy to have in boss fights, but I usually don't, um, I usually don't use him too much. And the hero that I'm talking about is Phobos. And uh, Phobos is interesting. He he by himself he's 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 barely enough to let you squeak by this early game with Thea as your as your as your main healer because he does help heal a little bit. But you have to level him up a little bit before you can you know before you can really be beneficial. So I finished the mission before the third key mission. It sends me back to the dashboard. It asks me to open up another chest, and this is always Phobos. And he's kind of cool. I like his aesthetic, his aesthetic a lot. He's like a um, an Edgar Allan Poe looking dude with some tentacles and um, and for those of you that know me I like um, I like uh, um, Kark a lot and I think that this guy is actually a Kark reskin 
Um, if <laughs> I, c- I could be wrong, but I think I think they took his frame and then just redrew um, redrew another hero on top of him, which I you know think is kind of interesting. But you know uh, that's that's you know just an aside. So I'm leveling up these heroes. But while I'm talking about it, I, you know I just again I just want to kind of say that you know Phobos is handy to fight boss battles, but you don't need to keep him leveled up. So I don't know that I would. I'd keep him leveled up as you you know right now I only have four heroes so. Sure, I'm going to keep him leveled up. But once I get to, you know, 8, 10, 15 heroes, I kind of let him go by the wayside a little bit because he's not that effective in day-to-day fighting. Um, really, I only pull him out of my uh, my roster to fight bosses. So I just completed the mission with the third key as a reward. I leveled up, yay. Um, and this is going to unlock the chest that holds Aurora captive. And now we have Aurora the Paladin tank. Now, um, whoops, uh, Discord, Discord again. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so Aurora is a dodge tank. She's really good against magic heroes. Um, and she really needs some leveling up to be uh, to be strong, just like any tank. Um, personally, I don't like her. I think Astaroth is a much better tank. Um, and then behind Astaroth, Galahad as well. And um, you might you might find her very useful in the very late game when you're going up against some magic-based teams. Um, uh, and maybe to fill out your Grand Arena team. She's a, she's a pretty cool hero. I like the Paladin idea of her. Um, but she, you know, since I've got her such low level here, she actually dies <laughs> quite a bit while I'm, um, while I'm, trying, to, uh, while I'm trying to play this. Um, this campaign, but I wouldn't recommend leveling uh, Aurora just like I wouldn't recommend leveling up Phobos. Maybe keep them, you know, if you've got some spare gold and you really like them, throw them their way, but um, <clears throat> they're not my pick for my top five heroes. And uh, yeah, so I think, oh, it's asking me to rename it. So, so yeah, I did jump on a fresh server here and I just, you know, I, I renamed it, uh, you know, mobile free to play for hero wars so i'll just uh i'll just do that real quick i can't type (laughs) okay that's great okay so let's uh um let's jump to the next thing Okay, so at this point in the game, uh, it lets you get, you know, kind of run crazy with opening up all the boxes and stuff that you've earned. And I'm just going to kind of take a moment to look at all the different notifications that I've got here. But I also want to uh, jump into the um, the daily bonus and the, you know, the quest event tab here. And I'm just going to freeze it like right here and talk about this event, the adventure begins. So um, occasionally there's going to be events that pop up in here that give you free soul stones for a specific hero. Right now here, it's Arachne. And in, in my, uh, at the time of the filming of this video, it's Luther. And these happen about twice a week on mobile. And you want to take advantage of these because they actually give you, just for playing the game, just for doing, you know, logging in and all different things, they give you access to hero soul stones that you wouldn't actually have an opportunity to get. And while that's outside of the scope of this video, because I wanted to make a video based on the easiest to get free to play, quote unquote, free to play heroes for anybody that watches this video at any time. For example, I wouldn't want to say, Hey, get Luther. Cause he's great. Um, especially right now, because if you're watching this video, you know, a year from now, then, you know, Luther might not be the event hero that's available. So I wanted to take a minute and kind of mention that because because occasionally you're going to find some heroes in there that you really like and you, you might not know that you like um, but are actually really good. So I would say take advantage of these events as much as you can. Um, but I wouldn't count on them to flesh out your team in every instance. And for, for what I mean by that is Arachne, for example, just got an improvement on mobile, but I still wouldn't use her in my main five. And she's kind of the free hero here. I would do quests for her for her soul stones because I'm doing them anyway logging in every day using energy using emeralds on occasion every day um, but I don't want to rely on those to fill out my team if that makes sense so now after the first handful of Um, missions that you knock out the developers the game uh, wants to give you this uh, secret gift and you can see here get a secret gift in 19 hours and 47 minutes and 25 seconds and what this is basically saying is 
hey, you know, you've, you've played this game for about a half an hour now or an hour or however long um, you've taken to kind of explore things. And we don't want you to forget about us in a day because, you know, we all know we have <laughs> very short attention spans. So remember, uh, tomorrow I'm going to give you a free gift. So come back tomorrow and I'm going to give you this free gift. So that's basically what this chest is saying. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I- I'm going to jump ahead in time. <laughs> I'm going to jump ahead in time to whenever I have access to this chest and then um, kind of pick up the video from there. Because nothing really happens between um, between now. If you're out of energy, um, if you're out of energy, you can't do any more campaign missions. Um, if you didn't, you know, make a high enough level to fight in the arena and all that, then you know. But so I'm going to jump to um, 20 hours from now, whenever I can open this. Um, so uh, stay tuned. All right. So I have um, avoided my day, and um, <clears throat> as you can see, I got two chests available. I've got the secret gift. That um, that, I was, that was teased yesterday, um, off to the right there. Uh, secret gift. Find out what's inside, and um, you know it's very purple and very bright. Hey, look at me! And then closer to the center of the screen here, you can actually see that I have a uh, another daily chest, and this is the chest that you can op- open up each day. It has a chance to get you soul stones for just about every hero in the game, um, with the exception of I believe uh, Jet, and unless you have uh, Martha already. I don't think you can get Martha soul stones out of there. I could be wrong, but I've I've heard reports that some servers have Martha in there, some do not, and some you can only get Martha out of her soul stones. I'm sorry, Martha out of, Martha stole stones out of her chest if um, if you already have her. So that's uh, that's kind of interesting there. So let's take a look. All right, so we click on the special. Uh, I'm sorry, the secret gift one first. Open, and we get Daredevil. Daredevil is a hard pass. Daredevil is an interesting damage dealer. She's probably one of the um, the least useful damage dealers in the game. I would not um, I would not actively use her <laughs> in any fight. Uh, let's talk about the the first daily chest here, and I get Ginger. Now I could be wrong, but I think you get Daredevil and Ginger out of these two chests. I like Ginger a lot, and she's one of the top damage dealing heroes in the game. And I would say. Uh, let's use her. Let's use her in our top five. So at this point, we're really kind of turned loose to kind of do our own thing. Um, You know, I've got some energy to spend, 231 there. I can get in some campaign action, continue leveling up my heroes, my glyphs, my artifacts, all of that stuff. I've got a handful of heroes already, enough to make a full team, so that's great. But um, what I'm going to start doing now is taking a look at some of the early campaign missions and campaign missions uh, as you level up further, just to kind of take an idea of some of the heroes that you can really uh, quote unquote grind out um, get getting more of their uh, more of their soul stones each day um, in order to improve your team and and again you really want to focus on five to seven heroes uh, five for sure maybe six or seven um, as you level up a little bit more otherwise you're gonna run out of resources in this game and um, you can check out other videos about that if you're if you're interested in hearing more about that though let's take a look at some of the different campaign missions. Okay, before we talk about the campaign missions and, and you know farming for hero soul stones in there, I want to talk about Celeste first. Um, on mobile, Celeste is very hard to get. Um, unless you get lucky and get her out of one of the daily chests or get her from one of the events, there's not currently a way uh, in the mobile version to farm for her soul stones in the campaign. On the Facebook version of the game, there's an opportunity to, to get her soul stones in, in later on in the campaign, but um, it's those missions aren't there. <laughs> they just aren't there on mobile. So um, Now, Celeste is a great healer. She's also a great damage dealer. She kind of goes back and forth. Um, she's a very powerful hero, definitely one of the top 10 heroes in the game, in my opinion. And there's a real easy way to get her from day one if you want to. So a little controversial. The title of this video is mobile free to play, but if you spend a little bit of money, you can get Celeste day one. Now let me let me talk about that a little bit. So 
uh, while yes, this is a free to play game, most games that are free to play allow you to spend a little bit of money in order to do something else. And in this game's case, it's to buy emeralds. You buy emeralds, you can use the emeralds to get more gold, you can use the emeralds to get more. Um, more energy, more chances to play the different events in the game, but you can buy uh, you can buy emeralds for um, a little bit of money, and I'll put a picture up um, of what that looks like uh, here here in a little bit. But if you buy the two dollar or the least expensive emerald package, in my case, it's a uh, dollar ninety nine for uh, American dollars, U.S. dollars, you'll get an opportunity to get Celeste immediately. So you end up being out of pocket roughly $4, um, you know, do- US dollars, but you get, in my opinion, one of the best heroes in the game. Now, you might say, Charles, you're, you're promoting, spending money on this game. This is a free-to-play game. You're just, you know, you're just selling out to the, now that's not, that's not what I'm doing. There is a dramatic shortage of healers in this game. Plus, Celeste is amazing. She's so good at countering vampire heroes. She's such a great healer. She can be a great damage dealer. And you can get her basically day one and have her for forever. I would highly recommend you spend the $4 to get Celeste day one. That's all I'm going to... And then I'm, right now I'm going to show you a little video on, um, on, how that, on how that works and how that looks like. So as you can see, I spent $2 on the first Emerald package. The Celeste thing popped up. I go back to this screen, and basically, if you make any other purchase, you get Celeste for free. So I just buy another uh, $1.99 um, package of Emeralds. Now, I've spent 4 bucks on this game, or technically $3.96 um, USD, uh, and this is a free-to-play game. And in my opinion, the hours that I've put into this game, the developers, they can have 4 bucks. They can have 4 bucks. Celeste is... One of the best. Here. I cannot stress enough. Uh, stress enough how good Celeste is, um, for your for your teams. She's just she's just so good. She's so amazing. So, I would recommend uh, to anyone to buy it. I'm not going to buy it in this video because I've already um, I've already purchased her on my main accounts for the four bucks. Um, and since this is just a test throwaway account, I wasn't going to buy her again. Um, just to prove a point. But and as you can see, she'll she's gonna she's gonna be floating there for the next hour. Um, saying, buy me, buy me. If you miss this, you might want to restart your game. That's how good she is. All right, so with all that said and done, what I've got here is I've got short slides of the different campaign missions kind of showing off um, where you can get different heroes, where you can grind for different hero soul stones. And you can sh- you can go look at these yourself. So you can pause this and take a look at them as I'm, as I'm kind of scrolling through it. But um, these campaign heroes is what we call them. These campaign heroes are going to be the easiest heroes to get access to. And I'm going to cut it off at chapter eight because chapter eight is really where the game starts to get really hard. So um, who would I pick for my free to play team? Um, well, this is it. Uh, Astaroth Galahad. I went with Kira instead of Ginger, um, Celeste, and then Thea. If you were going strict free to play and decided to not use Celeste, not buy the Celeste, do the Celeste trick that I was talking about, I would say use Phobos instead. And um, the reason why is Astaroth is the best tank in the game, in my opinion. Um, Galahad is a great backup tank. He does great area of effect damage. Um, he will boost Kira's skill, and Celeste can be a damage dealer for those fights that you need more damage and she can be healer for those fights that you need um, more heals. And of course, Thea is a good healer. Now, if you get other great heroes like Martha or Nebula, um, others like that, then sure, swap them in and out as you see fit. But this is kind of like my my free-to-play, um, unlucky because I haven't gotten any good heroes out of the chest um, team. So as you level up and complete different activities, you'll get access to different uh, shops in the merchant. And I want to touch on those heroes real quick here on the uh, on the mobile. I know I've done this in the past in another video, but this is mobile specific and and like I said, free to play. So um, in the arena shop, we have four heroes here: Judge, Chaba, Dark Star, uh, Astrid, and Lucas. I um, I unfortunately would not use any of these heroes in my top five or my top ten. So buy them if you have extra coins to spend. But I wouldn't invest any resources into um, into any of these guys. Astrid and Lucas is kind of cool. I wish that her um, her artifact boost was different, but she's got her place. I really like her. And Dark Star is pretty cool too, but nothing in my top five. In the Grand Arena, Rufus is situational. 
Ishmael situational. He's pretty good. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest any of these in my top five. I just, I just wouldn't again, buy them if you've got the extra coins, but I would invest in the tower shop. I really like Orion. Um, of course buy the gold, um, <laughs> with the coins. I really like Orion a lot. He's great. Um, uh, he'd be a great addition to our team. So you could buy Orion. He, he'd be good. Kai's not great. Dante's not great. Uh, Faceless and Cornelius both are really good heroes. Cornelius is amazing against mages, and so is Faceless. I would say um, invest in one or the other. They're they're handy to slot in as a as a support hero when you need them. And then finally, the Guild War Shop. This is a little tricky because you have to be part of a, uh, a guild that's in um, uh, Silver Leagues and actually competing. Um, so, you know, kind of like kind of like the the Cornelius Faceless. Some of these guys are situational. Some of them are not. But um, these guys make or break your team, um, with the exception of Nebula. Of these four, if I would have to say invest in one for sure. I would say invest in Nebula. Nebula, uh, there on the bottom left, she fits so well into so many different teams as a great um, support slash healer. And she fits in a ton of good teams, a ton of good teams. Um, definitely not going to be a wasted resource there. She could fit into your first, in your top five. Um, Jew is an amazing damage dealer. You kind of got to build a team around him, kind of like uh, Kira but he's more based on crit than armor penetration like Kira. So that's why I like Kira a little better. Um, Ziri is an interesting tank. Uh, a lot of people love Ziri as their favorite tank and she's a great tank, but in my opinion, Astaroth is better. So I'm not going to invest in Ziri. And then Clark, uh, for those of you that know me, he is my favorite hero in the game. And he's in my opinion, the best, um, uh, the best damage dealer in the game. You know, there are there are pros and cons to him, but um, he's really good. Unfortunately, you have to build a team around him. You really need Kai or Faceless. You also really need Nebula to make him good. So um, for, for your first five in a free-to-play game, if you have access to silver guild trophies right here and you can buy their soul stones, I would say um, only invest in uh, Nebula. So that's it. That's my free to play team for uh, for mobile. Uh, this is a little longer video than I intended to be, but I felt like I needed to cover a handful of stuff. Um, I hadn't really gone over the entry, uh, the the start of the game, if you will, for for mobile in my uh, in my other videos. So I wanted to cover that as well. Um, but you know, th this is uh, this is my opinion. There are a lot of great heroes, um, and you can do well with just about anything. But the most important thing to take away from this video is you need to focus on five heroes. If you don't focus on five heroes and you focus on 10 or 15 or just trying to level up, you know, I just got a new, you know, I just got, um, I don't know, I just got Dark Star and I want to level her up, then you're going to run out of resources and the game is going to slow down for you and it's going to be, it's going to be less fun. But if you focus on five heroes and then whenever you get to, you know, the, the level 80, level 90, level 100 plus where you have a lot more resources to go around, then you can start focusing on other heroes. And there's going to be a lot of instances where you're going to get a free hero out of a chest. You're going to get lucky and get um, Dorian out of the chest. And Dorian is a great healer, but um, the point of this video is to not rely on luck or to not rely on the um, the weekly hero events that you know gives you free soul stones for heroes that you normally wouldn't have access to. So um, this these these five would be my pick. Uh, for, you know, free to play plus, plus $4. Um, <laughs> uh, but, um, I, I want to do, I want to do, um, you know, videos based on, you know, every facet of this game. And, and of course, again, this is my opinion. So please let me know in the comments below what your opinion is of the best free to play mobile version um, for mobile uh, of this game. And, um, you know, if you thought, if you thought, if you thought the video, the video was good, please leave a thumbs up. Um, of course, leave a comment and consider subscribing. Um, until next time, this is Charles with Hero War Central. Have a good day.